yesterday we did Desmos. Remember that classroom activity? Uh, I'm honest with you guys. I, I take those from other teachers that have posted them. And I thought that teacher did a pretty good job. She had a couple of videos in there for us to watch. So if you didn't do yesterday's Desmos activity, I'd suggest you go back and do that before you do this activity right here. <clears throat> uh, and what we discovered yesterday in, in that activity is that this arc is twice as big as whatever this angle is. I'm going to do an example here. Like if this, if this angle was 40 degrees, this arc over here is 80 degrees. Okay. Uh, if the angle was 60 degrees, then the arc is 120 degrees. So in your notes, I, I had you put that, I hope, <clears throat> I hope you wrote down, uh, the angle is half the arc. The angle is half the arc. Now, what you got to understand is it's the arc that's being intercepted or cut by that, by that angle, right? So the homework today, you know, I've given you some challenging problems. And so you might kind of get tripped up. Like, where is the arc? What are we talking about? See how like complicated this drawing is. So let's try and kind of highlight the important information. All right. It says, let's see. Oh, I was putting them in blue, right? I was doing the, the angle in blue. So angle N, where the heck is angle N? N is right here. So let me highlight angle N. Okay. Right here. Uh, so there's angle N, right? Where is its intercepted arc? It is right over here, right? So there's my intercepted arc. Now I don't have a number over there. It's not like it's telling me it's 40 degrees or it's 60 degrees or anything like that. There's no number here, but when you look a little closer, let me change again, back to my highlighter. There's another angle that intercepts the same arc, and that angle is right here. So do you see, see that angle right there? And then the blue angle down here, they've got to be equal to each other because they're intercepting that same LP arc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set 3y plus 8 equal to 6y minus 1, and then I'm going to try to solve that equation. So here we go. <clears throat> it's not letting me change. So I go 6y minus 1 equals 3y plus 8. And then we're down to an algebra problem, right? So I subtract 3y from both sides. And I end up with 3y minus 1 equals 8. And then I add 1 to both sides. Man, I hope I don't make a mistake. So I end up with uh, 3y equals, oh, that's a 1 right there. I was thinking ahead here. I get a 9. 3y equals 9. And then I divide by three and I get Y equals three. Now, wait a minute. That's not what they're looking for. So don't get too excited and plug three into the box on McGraw Hill. You got to take the three and you got to plug it in for the Y right there. So I'm going to go three times three plus eight, right? So that's nine plus eight is 17. So I think we get 17 with that. I hope I did all my arithmetic correctly. Let me just double check. I got a three. I added one to both sides and that became a nine. I divide by three and I got three for my Y value and plugged it in. I think I'm good, right? I think I'm okay there. So that was a little complicated because there's, you know, lines going all over the place. And we didn't use any of this information about 5X plus nine and the 6X on this particular problem. Now you might use it on the next problem. So be careful. Don't write it off. <clears throat> All right. Next problem I want to look at with you. Skip to question five for me. And there's something kind of special going on on problem number five. This cord is a diameter. Okay. So what does that mean? That means that this is 180 degrees right down here at the bottom. The bottom half of this circle is 180 degrees, right? So look, we got an inscribed angle up here. Like if I pulled out my highlighter and I showed you, look, here's the angle coming along. It hits the arc right there. It comes over here and hits the arc over here. So that means that this, this angle is half of this intercepted arc. So this is 90 degrees right up there. If we have a right triangle, I probably could put it like a little right angle symbol here. Now, if it's a right triangle, then these two acute angles, let me put like two tick marks here, three tick marks here. They've got to add up to be 90 degrees because we've already used up 90 out of our 
out of our um, 180 to use for the interior angles of a triangle. So we've got 90 left between the between the two acute angles. So I'm going to go 5x minus 2 plus 2x plus 8, and I'm going to set that equal to 90 because between these two angles, there's got to be 90 degrees left if we used up 90 out of the 180 right there. Another way to look at it is the, the inscribed angle here hits this arc over here, right? Comes over, hits that arc. And this inscribed angle hits that arc. So those two arcs added up are 180. So we're taking half of the 180. That's why they're equal to 90. So we add the x's together. We add the constants together, move the constant to the other side. You do the rest on problem number five. Okay, I'm not going to walk you through that algebra right now. If you need some help, call me over. JM, it wants arc JM. All right. Hey, let's highlight that. Where is JM? It's right here. Holy smokes, man. There isn't an inscribed angle. Oh, wait, there is an inscribed angle intercepting that arc. See that right there? This angle right here intercepts that arc. Oh, okay. So if I could find this angle, then I would, I'd be home free, right? Well, let's see. Can I get inside this triangle here? I don't know any information inside this triangle. Oh, wait, here's 70 degrees here. So there's 70 degrees right here because of vertical angles, right? So this is deductive reasoning. If this angle is 70, then this angle 70 because of vertical angles. Now, if we have 70 here, hmm, let me think here for a second. Uh, I, how can I get this angle right up here? Because if I could get this one, then I could add these two together and subtract from 180, right? Oh, look, it's an inscribed angle. It comes down here and it hits right there. This inscribed angle comes over here, hits right there. It's got a, oh, half of 138. What is half of 138? Oh my goodness, let's see, that's uh, 60, I think it's 69, isn't it? So this angle up here is 69 degrees. And then let's see, if I add those two together, I get 139. Okay, so 69 plus 70 is 139. Okay, so I've got 139 between these two. If I take 180 and I subtract 139 from it, that gives me 41. Wait a minute, this one's 41 degrees right there. Now you figure out how big this arc is. That's what we're looking for right there, that arc right there, okay? I helped you with the triangle, interior angles of that triangle. You really care about that 41 degree angle right there, okay? Going to the next problem. Hope I said enough about problem number, problem number five. Um, it is uh, maybe that's it. Maybe that's the only the only problems that I want to look with you. Uh, at. Maybe it is because I'm on slide three. Oh, shoot, man. I thought there was another one I was going to do with you. Um, nope, that was it. That was the last one. Hey, good luck with the rest of the problems. I know you can do it. Ask me for help if you're getting stuck.